class. This is Mr. Ryan for Geometry on Friday, our first Friday that we make it through to. Is This is now in your book, 11.5, Links, Areas, Volumes of Similar Figures, starting on page 549. Now, there's several theorems, so I've written these out because then we'll show examples of them. The altitudes from the top to the base being perpendicular extending to corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio as the corresponding sides. So let's see what that means. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then EY, the altitude of the small one, over BX, the altitude of the big one, is equal to EF, the right side of the small one, over BC, the right side of the big one. So EY over 4 is 3 over 6, cross multiplying 6EY is 12, and EY therefore equals 2. Now there's a theorem about mediums shown in the middle of page 549. You can read that on your own. And for example 1, we're going to be given that triangle ABC is similar to XYZ, with side AC being 12, side ZX corresponding being 8, and the altitude for the smaller triangle being 6. So AD, the altitude for the big triangle, over XW, the small triangle, is equal to the side AC over the side ZX, or AD over 6 is 12 over 8. Cross multiplying 8AD is 12 times 6, or 72, Divide both sides by 8, or AD equals 9. Now, the next theorem is the perimeters of similar triangles are in the same ratio as the lengths of the corresponding sides. So again, if ABC is similar to DEF, then the perimeter of ABC divided by the perimeter of triangle DEF is the, in proportion to the sides, the bottom here, X over Y. And also we have a theorem that the ratio of the areas of similar figures is equal to the square now, because area is always square, of the ratio of the corresponding sides. So again, if base ABC is similar to DEF, then the area of ABC, the big triangle, divided by the area of DEF, is equal to the side over the side, X over Y, but squared. Now here we go on example 2, find the perimeter and area of parallelogram JKLM, the big one, if similar parallelogram TUVW, the small one, has a perimeter of 66 and an area of 216. So the proportion factor going from big to small is in, relation to, in re, proportion to the sides, 20 over 15, or LM over VW, Dividing 20 over 15 by 5 over 5, we have a proportion from the big to the small of 4 thirds. So now the perimeter of JKLM, the big parallelogram, over 66, which we were given as the, as the perimeter of TUVW, is 4 over 3. And cross-multiplying perimeter of JKLM is 66 times 4 divided by 3, and 66 over 3 is 2. So 2 times 4 is 88 centimeters. And the area of JKLM, the big one, over 216, the small one, is 4 over 3rd squared now. And that's 4 squared 16 over 3 squared 9. So cross multiplying, area of JKLM is 216 times 16, divide 9. And when you do this on the calculator, you get 389, that would be centimeters squared. Now, the last theorem we have is the ratio of similar solids volume is equal to the cube of the ratio of the corresponding sides, because volume is always three-dimensional. So example three, by what percent should each dimension of a box be increased if a manufacturer desires to produce similar boxes with twice the volume? So in other words, we want the new volume to be twice the old volume, or V new over V old to be K to the third, which is the proportionality of the sides now, equals 2. So taking the cube root of 2, we do as 2 power 1 third in parentheses, 
and the two places that comes out to 1.26. So we have the length of the new divided by the length of the old is k equals 1.26 and L new is equal to 1.26 times length old or 126% of original length or a 26% increase for each dimension. On our homework, starting on page 552, for problem 2, we have the side over the altitude for the big triangle is 8 over 6, and the side and the altitude on the small one is 4 and x. So side over side, 8 over 4 is 6 over x, cross multiplying, 8x is 24, x is 3. Okay, now here we have the altitude of being 15 and 36 being the whole bottom part and on the smaller triangle 24 being the whole base and z being the altitude. So base to base 36 over 24 which I can divide by 12 over 12 giving me the much simpler ratio of 3 over 2 is equal to 15 over z altitude to altitude. So now we have 3z cross multiplying is 2 times 15 or 30, dividing by 3, z is 10. Okay, now for problem 6, state each larger to smaller ratio for each pair of similar figures. So here we have a pentagon, a regular pentagon, all sides being 8, and a regular pentagon, all sides being 6. So the ratio of the perimeters of the small to the big is 6 over 8 or 3 over 4. And the ratio of the smaller pentagon to the bigger pentagon is 3 over 4 squared, or as we've seen before, 9 over 16. Now for problem 8, we have an uh, altitude of 16 on the triangle ACF and an altitude of 12 with a side of 15 on the smaller triangle. So side to side, BC over 15 is equal to 16 over 12. Okay, that's an E at the bottom, CE. Okay, so 16 over 12 simplifies as a ratio by dividing by 4 over 4 to 4 over 3. And now we can cross multiply. 3BC is 4 times 15, or 3BC equals 60, dividing by 3. BC is equal to 20. Okay. So that's the side on top for the uh, big triangle. Now on 10, we have a side AC of 18 and a side OM on the small triangle of 9 that are corresponding. Given that the perimeter of the big triangle is 70, 70 over the perimeter of the smaller triangle is side over side, 18 over 9 or 2. So the perimeter of the small triangle times 2 is 70, and taking 70 over 2, the perimeter of the small triangle is 35. On 12, we have a side AC of 8, and given that the area of ABC is 36, ON on the smaller triangle, the corresponding side should be 4. That was a mistake. It should be 4. It's in the book. So we have the area of the big triangle, 36, over the area of the small triangle, is now 8 over 4, but squared. Now 8 over 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. So 4 times the area of the small triangle is equal to 36, dividing by 4, the area of the small triangle is 9. And on 14, the base of the big triangle is 18, the base of the small triangle is x, and we're given that the area of the big triangle is 81, the area of the small triangle is 9. So 81 over 9 equals 9, and that's the ratio of the base to the base squared. So that's equal to 18 over x quantity squared. So we have 9x squared equals 18 squared or 9 equals 18 squared over x squared, and cross-multiplying gives us 9x squared equals 18 squared. Now, 18 squared is 324, and 324 divided by 9 is 36, so x squared equals 36, and the square root of 36 
is 6. So the base of the smaller triangle is 6. On problem 16, we have a square on the left which has twice the area of the smaller square. So, and that's in proportion to the side S over 4.25. So now because it's area, it's S over 4.25 squared is twice the area 1 over the area 1, or just 2. So now here we have S squared is equal to 2 times 4.25 squared. And if we square root both parts of that, we have the square root of 2, and we square root 4.25 squared, we just get 4.25. And on a calculator, multiplying square root of 2 by 4.25 comes out to two places to 6.01 inches. Now we're told on 18 that the cost to remodel a 13 by 15 room is 630, and we want to get in proportion to a room that's length 20. So we know the proportion of the lengths is 15 to 20, and we're asked to find the cost of remodeling the bigger room. So 15 over 20 divided by 5 over 5 simplifies to 3 fourths, and since it's area, it's 3 fourths squared. So 630 over x is 9 over 16, 9x is 16 times 630 divided by 9. Do that all in the calculator. You should be able to get x is equal to 1120. Now on 20, find the smaller to larger perimeter ratios for each pair of figures, the regular hexagon with areas, the small one of 8 meters squared and the big one of 20 meters squared. So the perimeter small over perimeter large squared is equal to 8 over 20, the ratio of the areas, which simplifying dividing by 4 over 4 is 2 over 5. So square rooting the PS over PL squared, I would square root the 2 over the square root of 5. And, and as they want us to do, we want to clear out the bottom, so we multiply the bottom and top by square root of 5 over square root of 5, and the top is square root of 10 over square root of 5, square root of 5 is 5. And on the calculator, square root of 10, close the parentheses, divide by 5, you should get 0.63. Now looking at similar circular cylinders with surface areas of the big one being 18 pi square inches and the small one being 12 pi square inches, we can see that the radii squared, the RS small over the RL large, is 12 pi over 18 pi, and dividing both sides by 6 pi over 6 pi gives us a ratio of 2 thirds. So square rooting the RS over the RL gives us the square root of 2 over the square root of 3, and we do the same thing we did above, multiply top and bottom by the square root of 3, giving us square root of 6, over square root of 3. Now on the top, when you do in the calculator square root of 6, make sure you close the parentheses before you divide by 3, you should be able to get 0.82. Now the circumferences are just like the perimeter for a circle, so we have the same relationship with the, the radiuses as the circumference, because they're both single dimensional, one to the one power, just one power length. So it's the same as for the radii, so a square root of 6 over 3, so it's the same answer as part A, or 0.82. Now for volumes, we know that v volume small over volume large is square root of 6 over 3 cubed, which is square root of 6 squared times square root of 6 over 3 cubed. Square root of 6 squared is 6 times square root of 6. 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. That simplifies by dividing 6 over by 3 and 27 by 3, giving us 2 squares to 6 over 9, making sure that you put the parentheses on the right on the square root of 6 before you divide by 9. You should get a point fifty-four. Now on 24, we're given that the length of the big one over the length of the small one gives us L over 15 for our ratio, but since we're dealing with area or volume, we have 384 pi over 216 pi, and when we do 
384 over 216, math enter enter, we get 16 over 9. So L over 5 is 16 over 9 square root. So square root of 16 is 4, square root of 9 is 3. So cross multiplying, 3L is 4 times 15, which is 60, divided by 3, L is 20. Now V big, they tell us, over the V small, which is 324 pi, is in ratio to 20 over 15, which we know now to be 4 over 3, but to the third power, because it's volume. So 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, over 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27. So cross multiplying, we have 27 times the volume for the big one is 64 times 324 pi. Now on the calculator, you don't put the pi in the multiplication, but you do 64 times 324 divided by 27, and that's all. And when you do that, you should get 768 pi, and that's your answer. So you just put the pi back on. So this completes the first full week of home learning. I hope that this is working for you. I'm going through all the homework, so all you have to do is write down the homework with me and work through it with me as we go, and you'll be done with your homework each day when you do your video. God bless you. Have a good weekend. Hope you can get to the Facebook Live or however you're having your church services. We're enjoying ours. God bless you and keep you safe and keep you healthy. And we'll see you next Monday.